Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the new session that's talking about the periodic table of elements. Last time, we talked specifically about the element, and we know that the element is a pure substance that's, that's found on the Earth, and the scientists found many elements on the Earth, and we decided to study these elements in details, and when we study each element, we discover that the element is made up of small tiny particles that's, that's called atom. And last time we studied the atom, and the atom was having three subatomic particles, which are the protons, which is a positive charge that's found inside the nucleus, and the other thing is the neutrons, which are non-charged particles that are found also inside the nucleus, and the last part is the electron, which is a negatively charged particle. You could see here the periodic table of element. It looks like it may be hard, but it's so simple and so easy. It's a collection of elements, okay? And each block is representing a certain element. Each block or each square is representing a certain element. So if you could see at uh, that, each block is having four things inside it. It has an upper number, and it has a lower number, and it has a name, and it has a symbol. Again, an upper number, and a lower number, and it has a chemical symbol, and it has a chemical name. The chemical name is the chemical uh, is the name of the element and the chemical symbol is an abbreviation for this element and this abbreviation comes from the english name of the element or even from the latin name of the element we took only the first letter and it has to be capitalized or we took the first two letters and the first one has to be capitalized the upper number is called the atomic number Again, the upper number is called the atomic number. And the atomic number is representing the number of protons that we have inside the nucleus. Again, representing the number of protons, which means that the upper number, the atomic number, is representing how many positively charged particles are embedded inside the nucleus. And the lower number is the atomic mass. Think about it, mass. Who has the mass from the three subatomic particles? The three subatomic particles, which are the proton and the electron and the neutrons, only the proton and neutrons were having a mass. So it's obvious that this atomic mass is coming only from the two, ma the two particles that has mass, which is the proton and the neutrons, which means that the electron was very, very light and it doesn't have or doesn't count in the atomic mass. So the atomic mass, which is the lower number, is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons that we have inside the atom. Okay, you could, only, you could also observe that we have a certain square cube or like a cloud or also we have another thing just like a drop. This is the state of matter. Is it solid or liquid or gas? This is the state of matter. Is it solid or liquid or gas? You could also, you could also see that we could see the periodic table as a vertical columns or as a horizontal row. If we see it as a vertical column, we see it group. So again, the group is the vertical columns that we have inside the periodic table. And if we talked about the vertical column, we are going to count them. So we are going to have 18 vertical column and we have 18 groups of element. But if we're going to count them horizontally, we say it period. So the horizontal row is called period. In this case, we are going to have seven periods in the periodic table. So again, the periodic table is composed of 18 groups of elements. And the group means the vertical column and seven periods. And the period means the horizontal row. And each block is representing a certain element. And also you can observe that we have different colors. What are these different colors? Think about these different colors and prepare this question for the next time. And this is a research question. Thank you so much and hope you enjoy the session.